This is a tutorial for the Vector Wand plugin tool from graphicextras.com. It's volume 7. Right, you can actually find the plugin once you've installed it. You installed it in the plugins folder of Illustrator. It's for CS5, CS4, etc. Also, it's for PC or Mac. Right, you'll actually find it in the toolbox here. So, just Vector Wand tool, so it's interactive. Now, it doesn't actually work on text direct, so you actually have to convert text. So object, expand, just quickly expand those. And now, of course, you can't see anything because it's all just gone just blue. Right. Now I'm just going to quickly apply the vector wand to that. Now the dialog here, basically double click to bring up the dialog. And you will see the scaling tool. That's the first one, but there's lots of other ones. Translate, you can rotate. Basically it applies the effects these effects so the opacity stroke weight you can change just by interactively just applying so you can sort of like paint on in a particular area so if you've got say a design with maybe multiple different shapes you can just apply the various effects so there's also fill fill intensity so it just changes the color style etc swatches you can add swatches on gradients you can modify the gradient patterns if it's got a pattern you can then modify those as well as there's even tools to manipulate gradient meshes of course, it's not a great mesh, so I can't apply that here. And warping tools. Right, just going to do scaling. So just basically apply. Now, it's got a pressure as well, so you can actually use an art pad and pen with this to modify the thing. And that actually just scales it down, very, makes it very small. So you can just see the letters have actually shrunk in that particular all the numbers. So just going to quickly apply that again. You can actually modify it, make it... going to quickly scale up the other way so I'm just going to quickly apply so it actually increases the size so you can actually see them all bunching together I'll just quickly go there so you can just see that that's basically where I've applied the brush right so that's the scaling now you can actually also do have different various brush shapes so uh, obviously I've just got a square one as the default but uh, you can also apply like diamond and edge hotspot a gradient so it's a sort of applied like a gradient a sort of smoothing effect I mean it's maybe not so effective in each of these ones so I'm just going to quickly show that so just actually help to select the designs so the lower part is not so modified as much as the top part in the gradient and that's something there's various various designs like that and of course you can apply a central rim and a frame effect double size frame so you get sort of like the edge of the the brush is actually applied also you can invert the region so I'm just going to quickly show you that so I'm just going to quickly so you actually increase the size of everything other than the bit you're applying the brush to so all of that increases in size so it all just blends into one going to quickly get rid of that just oops, just done that right now I'm just going to quickly show you some of the other ones as well so translate put the brush back to the other one and that just basically shoves all the the design so you can create a sort of like wavy distorted shapes just apply that like that so you sort of see a see a wave of the designs of course you can actually just select different parts obviously if you ungroup this obviously it selects all of the things so obviously if you just wanted to say particularly to apply it to a particular area as well as obviously the brush application you can actually just limit it to that particular area right I'm just going to quickly show you another one rotation it just rotates the it's not rotating very fast it's set to one so and then you can just see them rotate there. So all the numbers are all rotated. Now, just going to quickly show you the other ones. Fill intensity. So I'm just going to apply that. And that makes it fade away so you've just got basically the letters are suddenly all faded away of course you can do the other one and make it actually darker so I'm just going to quickly show you that as well and 
got actual dark patches of the of the letters. So that's another one. You can also apply different colour effects as well using fill plugin. That's another one. It actually got a range to modify all the channels so you can sort of make it greener or, or whatever. So I'm just going to quickly apply and you sort of got a, a more green colour there. And there's also a whole selection of other things. You can create various applications, apply there's different settings for each of the uh, the plugins, so each of them have got their own particular. So we can create a swatch for the color as you as you create it. You can apply it or not, so you can sort of create more randomization. Like I say modify the brush size, how it applies it, the brush slowdown, also the the size again. Trail the cursor, you can create duplications of various paths. Also apply it, new layer for the trail cursor, so you can spread them over to particular layers, so you can create sort of animation effects. I'm just going to quickly show you some of the other ones. There's style, blending, color reducer, sort of smudges, various things, corner point. Just going to distort various. There's many, many different uh, settings you can do. So I'm just going to lens one, which creates a sort of lens effect. distort again those things point shift I'll just quickly show you this one and that actually really does create a, a very rough sort of design so I'm just going to quickly apply that over sign and so you can actually see if you actually look at the letters closely you can see them all actually all being sort of roughened up okay so that's basically a quick tour of the vector wand tool